Right, so... Hmm. Pocket Edition. Final Fantasy XV Pocket Edition. I, 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 I mean, just just look at it. Just, just look at it. What is this? <laughs> Why does this exist? So guys, this is a reality we live in. Final Fantasy XV Pocket Edition for mobile. Oi, my god. What is what even is this? Now do you know what? Some people are gonna dig this because some people don't own a console and wanna play Final Fantasy XV now they can. Do you know what? That's pretty awesome. I ain't gonna lie, that's pretty that's pretty that's pretty dope. Um However Talk about milking it, Square Enix, like I've never heard of a game company ever doing this for their large triple A game on a console. Literally remaking it from scratch for mobile. <laughs> like don't get me wrong, it looks interesting, don't get me wrong. But I think they went for the completely wrong art style for this. The characters look ugly. The environment doesn't look too bad, but the characters look really damn ugly. Um I'm not 100 percent sure on this. I, re I really don't know how to react to the Pocket Edition. You know, maybe if they had gone for like a World of Final Fantasy style, then this would have been pretty cool. But this... I, I don't know how to react to this. This... The gameplay looks simple enough, but... It basically, the game is split into 10 episodes, basically excluding all of the open world stuff, because that would probably be a nightmare to recreate completely. Um, each like episode is going to be like three pounds or three dollars each. Overall, the overall package is like twenty-three pounds or dollars or thirty dollars. I'm not hundred percent sure, but that's still a lot of money for a mobile game. Like, I mean, I'm not. I'm, I mean, I've always been for like you should pay one set price for a game to microtransactions, but I don't know. There's just something not right about this game. It's been in development since like episode of Sky. And what I've been reading for like a couple a couple years, <laughs> this is what makes it laugh. They had so many difficulties with the main game getting it done, right? And then they just pop out a pocket edition. It baffles me. It really, really does. Like I just like I said, I really don't know. Some people are on the fence about this. Some people don't just flat out don't like it. And some people were like, "Yay, this is amazing." Me, I'm just kind of like, I don't really know, and I don't think I really care that much. Um, the gameplay, I don't know, I just, I don't know, I just don't know. I, I've never been so lost for words when it comes to a product that Square Enix have made. I mean, it probably has potential. It probably has some great potential, but can you, can you imagine some really serious scenes? Like, oh, I mean, I ain't going to say it. I don't know whether I should. Oh, spoiler alert. Luna's death, right? Could you imagine Luna's death in this engine, in the Pocket Edition style? Could you really imagine it? Like, no. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to take it seriously at all. Man, Square Enix, what are you doing? I mean, it's not really going to affect the main game. You know, it hasn't halted development on anything as far as I know. It's probably a completely different division working on this. And I sincerely hope so, because... I find, like, it's great. If the main division have been wasting their time on this, and that's not good, really, is it? But, um, what do you guys think of Final Fantasy Pocket Edition? Let me know in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe, favourite, all that good stuff. And I shall catch you all later on.